Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Kiwi Game Tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to handle collisions. Oftentimes, one of the most important things in uh, developing video games is deciding when something collides with something else. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Um, now, we're going to be doing probably the most basic form of collision detection, which is called axis aligned bounding box collision detection. Basically, what that means is that you're assuming that your objects are rectangles and those rectangles are not rotated. So let's go ahead and create a function for detecting. So I'm going to create a function called um, collides and this is going to take two rectangles. So rec one and rec two. And we're going to assume that this is a tuple of two tuples where each tuple is a position and size. So anyways, just how our rectangles define. So this takes two rectangles and it will return true if they're colliding and false otherwise. Uh, now there's a lot of ways to implement this. Um, if you just Google axis aligned collision detection, you will see lots of, uh, well, there's not a lot, there's a few. Um, you, you'll come across simple algorithms. Here's one that I found uh, basically on the internet and on the, uh, Mozilla, uh, on the Mozilla developer website and this is it. So this is how the, the uh, rectangles are defined by an XY and a width height. And then here is the collision detection algorithm. So if it passes all of these, then collision is detected. Otherwise, no. This is in JavaScript. I'm just going to take this algorithm it's very easy to understand what it's doing, but I don't really want to spend the time on that. So I'm just going to take this algorithm here and I'm going to rewrite it into my function here in Python. Um, I'm going to do that later. So for now, let's assume that function is implemented, right? So we have a function that takes two rectangles and returns true if they've been colliding. Now, what we want to do is we want to create another little enemy somewhere on our world and Whenever our player moves, when we collide with the enemy, I want to print out a message so that we have successfully, so that we know that we've successfully detected a collision. So first of all, let's go ahead and uh, when we're adding stuff to the canvas, let's add an enemy. I guess we'll call it enemy. That'll also be a rectangle. I'm not going to give it an image. Um, I'm just going to make it be a white rectangle, I guess. Or you know what? Why not? Let's give it an image. So let's go back to good old paint. And let's make a, I guess the background of this, we will make it blue and then we'll make, uh, okay, there we go. That's an evil smiley. We'll save it in the same folder and we will call it enemy. All right. And the position that we're going to put it, let's say we're going to put it on 400, 400, I guess. The size, we're going to make it um, a little bit smaller than the player. Why not? And okay, so now we got a player and an enemy. The game widget has a reference to both of them. Excellent. Let's run to make sure our enemy appears, first of all. Uh, there's our enemy, but nothing loads up as its picture. I wonder why. So self the enemy is a rectangle. Oh, not so source. Let's go ahead, run, and there it is. Our player and our enemy. All right. Now let's detect when we collide with it. So here's the function that moves our player every step, right? Now after we move, what we want to do is we want to see if we're colliding, right? So um, and then if so, we're gonna print. So if uh, we don't need parentheses. If it collides, um, the player, uh, let's see, the player's position and player's um, uh, size, we're going to pass that as the first tuple. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is our first rectangle defined by the position and size of the player. Our second rectangle will be enemy.position and self.enemy.size. There we go. So if those two are colliding, then we want to print colliding. Um, otherwise, we want to print 
not colliding. All right, just not colliding. We don't have to be excited when we print that. Um, okay, now the only thing left to do is to define this function. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this JavaScript code that I found into Python, and then I will resume. Okay, so here we are. I've converted that JavaScript uh, collision detection code to Python right over here. And now let's go ahead and run and see if we are successfully detecting collisions. So as you can see right now, we are not colliding. Let's go ahead and see, as soon as we touch it, we start colliding. So we have successfully done basic collision detection. Now, in here, we just uh, are doing uh, axis aligned collision detection. So both of these objects cannot be rotated. Uh, we will handle that in a future tutorial. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and show you how to play sounds. See you there. Bye-bye.